Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Jurassic Striker here. Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect the Legendary Edition, Chapter 1. Continuing from where we last left off, because there was a little bit of a bug and a glitchy thing where my teammates were just standing in one spot. Luckily, it was a bug. It, yeah, my, it was, my system was kind of hot. And yeah, I mean hot and sexy. Ooh my! <laughs> now it got very hot because you know summertime, hot as hell. Well, it's probably 400. No, <laughs> we, not 400. We'd probably be dead by that time. But yeah, went ahead and kind of talked to a few people in there and got everything I need and ready to set off on the rescue mission. Woo! God damn! <laughs> Man, this place is weird. It's like, how the heck they built something like this? You owe us for this. The Skyway is crawling with Geth. Package is secure. We're leaving now. Yes, you are. Oh, God, don't even go off the edge. the end here. Come out with your hands up and your feet in the air. <laughs> That's the last of them. Good. Okay, so yeah, that was another entrance. Uh, how do I get down there? I mean, is there anything actually in there that's important? Pim, 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 pim. No, I don't think so. I hear that weapon. Pulse weapon. Of course, I'm here. It's the guest's primary weapon. I see. Probably of oh, one of the. Wait! Shut down the comm! We've got incoming guests! Damn it! Shut down the comm! Mmm, my man late for the party! Oh, you're already dead, man. Huzzah! <laughs> Punched him down the stairs. That's the last of them. Good. We didn't have to use any bullets. We had to, we served ammunition. Good work. Good job, team. Is there anything? Open crate. Wow. All the way down here. And you did. Couldn't save you, mate. Can't see. Person, I'm wondering it. Right there where it keeps saying that I get I'm getting like a lot of money and stuff, you know I can't get any more. Yeah, I can't get any more. But I wonder if it's like gonna double it. Cause uh, see, cause usually like each generation when a, a game comes out and it has that continuing thing, the money usually goes up higher or passes beyond its uh, vantage point. I can't No, right? Look at this place. This feels like Sky City from uh, Star Wars. Woo! Are you growling at me? What the hell is that? You hear that? <laughs> Sound like you. Oh, he definitely did. He's burning. What burning? Hmm. That's just missed, I guess. Just making sure. The Geth certainly don't waste time when they can. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside.
Oh my god, I love the Mako. We got them all, Shepard. Oh my god, we actually did? Oh wait, wait a minute, then why? I don't think so. I definitely know... There's nothing over here, up there. Big ass place to explore. But there ain't nothing over there. Oh, that's right. There's a jamming thing is, I believe, on the... Oops. On the other side of that wall. Or... No, it's on this side. That's right. Oh, man. I remember... You know, yes, I keep bringing it up. But, man, I remember I couldn't get into any of these things when on the PS3. Oh, fuck. Aha. You got me. But you know what? I'm glad that I can do this again. I remember I could never do it again. Wake up, see, stupid. Come on. Huzzah. All targets down. Good. I'm glad. Now see, I think... Hmm... I can't go through... Oh, it's over here. This looks like a one-way drop, Commander. Bundle up! Stay close! We're going in. Hoorah. Who goes there? Oh. Oh my. Damn it! Good thing you're a bad shot. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Baron. Explain yourself, Missy! You're safe <laughs> now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. Don't worry, it's not my problem. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... Uh, at least, oh, I can see right there. <laughs> it's like, see you finish your sentence. Don't hold back, can tell me. I'm here for the Geth. <laughs> it's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? Yeah. It's an indigenous life form. It's a plant. So Jenny was studying it. Kind of. <laughs> tell me more. Interesting. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I, I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Great. Fair enough. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Hmm. By any chance, do you have an axe that I could borrow? That will work. I can ask them a question. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> I'm just a research assistant You're not for funny, Striker. I came here <laughs> with my mother. I don't even know if she Think made it out alive. I care. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? God. No, you're I not. I I was the only one left. You're Please, definitely not left. Le only one left. Get that field down so I can see my mother again. Looks like we're gonna have to populate. <laughs> Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know <laughs> it's very old, thousands of years even. Maybe more. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but. I don't think they found anything special. Well, it's obvious. If you look at it and you think of it and you're wondering why is everybody acting so weird, it's because it's a uh, manipulator. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Hmm, and your secret files. That field. You're also doing something else. Hey, we're talking over here.
Oh, more meat for the colony. All clear. And nothing else in here. <sighs> Jesus. Dark much? Stupid machine. It is Access a stupid machine. Files. I don't want no, to. I don't want to review protocol. Why not? I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Stupid Krogan! <laughs> Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What did you say? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. Can't the talk and sing? control group has yielded <laughs> interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. I and mean, then if they could talk and sing, it's a mean green mother machine. <laughs> Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strangely. Your yep. pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us! We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus' home. B.I. What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Hmm. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately, and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Hmm. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. 
It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, biomedical division, security level four exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Yep, yep, yep. Good to know, good to know. Okay, so... Roll out. Say move out. Interesting stuff. This is not we're here. Fire in the hole! coming from the ship it will be difficult we can check the other claws for weaknesses but the geth are very thorough hmm interesting this place seems almost peaceful do you think the geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple the Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. This place seems almost peaceful. Okay. Do you think the Geth are using this room as some kind of religious temple? Okay, so the Geth again. blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Yeah. Oh, good, you got him, Tally. I think we're good, Shepard. Good. Bad. Holy crap, I was like, I can't even see where the hell I'm going. I wasn't sure that was going to be the actual right way. Clear. 
remember this area with all. Uh, I remember in a lot of these areas, my PS3 would heat up all the time. And my teammates would get stuck on it. I would usually battle this area by myself. Is that all there was? Okay. I do like it that it gives you more than one chance. Cause I remember, and unless I was just dumb, I'm pretty sure I was, cause I was still new to all this whole thing of Mass Effect. And right now, I am definitely becoming a fan, or I already am. <laughs> but it's not like an everyday thing. No one's gonna be you no know, Mr. Pitterfeet. There's bound. You're gonna hit a few snags here and there. Remember when you hacked these things and you messed up, you couldn't do them again unless you had the gel. Oh, god damn it, I hit square again. And see, it always has square or circle, and that's it. I could never hit X again. So I'm wondering if it was maybe a bug in the past and then they just. or they changed it because for people that are uh, new to Mass Effect, where most of us are not. Holy crap! Wow, they're all dead. Who is that? These are some funky looking computers. <laughs> Like that took away the fourth field because I don't see. Oh, it's up this way. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Oh, big, scary. Oh my god, what shall I ever do? Garris, hold me. <laughs> Even one claw, the ship may fall. Yep, and scramble. <sighs> First, we get the goodies, and then we shut it off or turn on the clampers so they can, uh, Cut the claws in half. That'd be defenseless. Sorry, note. Shut down bay door controls. No, we want this one. Oh yeah, it's one of these ones. Um, it was... 11? 13? Shit, I messed that up. Um, no, 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 no. Take it off. 7? No. Uh... Oh no, it lost its claw. Oh, for one claw and two claws are still logged in. I'm surprised it's falling.
Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the story and creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. <laughs> Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Joker. Is this shore party? Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Sit tight. Protect the ship at all costs. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. <laughs> okay. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Yes, sir, Captain e, sir. Oh, I got that got that one in one try. I couldn't remember how I did the frequency and I was like, um hmm. What's this or this? But luckily I got this guy get to at least one of those things and then boom! Where's the door? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> this place is a freaking maze. I remember I got I, I got lost in here. When I came here, I was like, it's a dead end. Where did I go? And then I had to turn and it's like, oh my god. Man. I definitely know I'm going to be kind of a little bit what you call a half noob on this. Because I played the crap out of it on the PS3 as best I can. You know, some things may not, whoops, may have not, oh, where the hell am I going? All over the place. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. We're going to talk for a little bit, okay? I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. I don't believe you. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can <laughs> tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. No one's here, Joker. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Nice job. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with I? you. <laughs> I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You didn't know what it was uh, capable of. No one can predict the future, sweetheart. We can only learn from it. From our mistakes. And, so, and then, and then uh, do our best to recorrect it. But yeah, as I was saying before, I might be like a sl uh, slash noob here there because on the PS3 the game had a hard time a little bit. It, it did its best unless you had like a really strong PS3. I had one, but uh, <laughs> it couldn't do so much. Other than that. Damn. Like, was I missing? Oh, look at that. He loves my tires. <laughs> He's still on my vehicle. Oh, oh, he fell. He fell off it. Oh, poor him. Level three, what? What was that? What was the level three thing? Is there an X down there? Am I supposed to go down there? Oh wait, that's the uh, I believe I believe that's the uh, where the survivor. Oh god, where the survivors were at. Is there any 
anybody. Is there anyone picking this up? No. Get away from that radio. What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop! Stop! They're over. I was going to stop. What the hell? Don't need to do that. I was going to stop anyways. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Garrus, Tally! Oh, Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. I'm a badass, you mother effer. You better start talking before I start blowing your head off. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Sure it Communications is. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Well, you, you never you never know. You might miss someone. I mean, you might fall in love with someone. Yeah, you ever thought about that? Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? All kinds of things, you gimpy bastard. <laughs> they recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Oh! Okay, well, you know me. I will surely do that. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after all. I have to help them. It's my fault this happened. Yeah, yeah. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I found your data. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. <laughs> I got zero cash. <laughs> I certainly earned it, huh? <laughs> so rich, man. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What the hell you think I- what the hell you take me for? You think I'm an asshole? Yeah, I can be sometimes. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Command. Hurrah! We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Could now this... I got so confused from the past when, um, right here, I'll show you. This symbol right here, I didn't know it was grenade. 
Uh, I was like going, where the hell is my grenades? How do I equip it? I was like literally going for my guns and I didn't realize I had to push square. Put it on. And bam, boom. And there you go. It's on. And now I am ready for action. That's the one thing I never could figure out. And I ended up killing them because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Until like the next couple of playthroughs I did. And I was like, oh, that's how you do it. But now, we are back in action, baby. Especially when it's been remastered for us to play the, pa the past into the future. <laughs> Also, I was saying before, I kind of got sidetracked like I normally do. I always get sidetracked on certain things. I do probably apologize for that. Ooh! I like how my armor is glowing. Like, it has those lights that keep blinking. I never I think I've ever gotten an armor like that. Of course, the game, it says on the back of it, if you gotten on, uh, if you got on disc version, but I don't know if it can tell you a digital version, I'm not sure. It will, um... <gasps> Zombie! Blow him up! Oh, it's not gonna let me on. Yeah, you're a ray. You're not, uh... Dang, I don't need what to was that creature? It certainly wasn't human. Wipe everything out! Careful. Leave the colonists. Wipe everything out. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's look at Let's the lights. Go. I like how it does that. What's going to change the color? You can yeah. in uh, the other one. On my oh. way. My bad. Uh... Take out those hostiles. I would use that, but I didn't want a chance of blowing them up because they're just right here. Hey, buddy, you don't mind just stand right there and just throw a grenade right there, and then uh, yeah. Shields disabled. Yeah, sure is, huh? Wow, look at that. That thing is so big. <laughs> you got them all. I remember I had to waste two grenades there. I wonder. If, I wonder if it's because maybe I got my blast radius high enough, or I don't. I, I'm sorry. I love the remaster for this. Oh yeah. God damn. I apologize. I keep <laughs> going one way than the other. If you have the game on case, it literally tells you there's over 40 DLCs from Aspect One to Three. But yeah. So there's gonna be a lot to do. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Hmm. Just in case. I don't want to accidentally shoot someone. Shield Excuse me. Take him down. Medigil deployed. Come back here, guys. There's a grenade there. I came on doing anything to you. Doing that. Yep, yep. Okay, so we got all 16. Goddamn. <laughs> Forgot how slow it is. Hey, and now we'll use a sniper. That should be fun. <laughs> Buddy, just gonna throw the name right there. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I took out those ones. Get down! Incoming! I think there was a crate around here that has more grenades. There we go. What? It didn't knock you out. You were right next to it, buddy boy. Incoming! God damn! Oh no, and then you're gonna go over there and I can push you. There we go, there we go. Okay, good, I got all my grenades back. That is bullshit. You get the ground, you won't you won't hit the ground. <laughs> Yep, I'm just gonna stand right here and just be target practice to keep you focused in one spot. Oh yeah. La, 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 la. I could just shoot him, but that'd be so mean. <laughs> okay, where's another bomber crate? There's none, okay. Can you make sense of the controls? over here. Got him, got him, got him. If it sure is clear, just try and find where the other crate is. I want to make sure that is all of them. How's the animal crate? Was it up here? I swear to God, it feels like something's been changed. Because one there was another one. Hmm, I guess not. My mistake, I guess. Oh, luckily we got it all taken care of. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Why can't I just use the gas grenades on you, man? Ah. Zero, yes, zero of eight stars. <laughs> zero of eight, zero stars. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you for watching. and Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, button, leave me a comment if you're new and all. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that Normandy bell so you don't miss all adventures like this. It's been a blast. But now, stay tuned for as we kick the plant's ass. Ah. <laughs> uh, Cause we're not gonna have some mean green mother plant machine that sings and talks and I think her name I think it was named Audrey too. <laughs> if you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about from that reference, it's from an, a horror movie I loved watching when I was a kid. Well kind of a comedy horror movie. Man, they did a good job for the 
um, CG, oh, kind of a CGI, uh, no, it was more of a puppeteer mechanic machine or something like that, something like that. Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Peace out, buddy. Goodbye. Garrus, Tally, are you ready? Arm up. We're going in.